Hey, it's me, Destin. Welcome back to Smarter Every Day. Not really sure how this is going to work out, but I want to know a little bit more about tattoos. So uh, I'm just walking up to a tattoo parlor and seeing if they will let me video a tattoo being applied in slow motion with a phantom. Let's see how this works. <laughs> Okay, we're in the shop. This is Leah, right? Mm -hmm. Hi. Okay, this is Leah, and she is an artist. We're, we're not supposed to say. What is that? What we call you? A tattoo artist, tattooer, tattooist in England. They use tattooists. Excellent. Okay, yeah. so can you teach us how to tattoo somebody with? I guess this is the gun, right? Well, machine. We don't call it a gun. That's a no-no. So what we have here? This is a rotary machine. Um, there are a few different types of tattoo machines, but the most commonly used is the coil, and I would say the second most common is the rotary machine. Oh, really? Can you show us how it works? Sure. This itself is the motor. Uh huh. The head of the needle, uh, actually the needle bar, connects here, and it goes through a tube, which this is. Is that what you hold? We hold this. This is technically the grip. I'm going to put on uh, gloves. Not because I really need to in this case, because I'm not tattooing anyone, and all of this is sterile, but. It's habit. It oh. feels strange to open a bag without gloves on. So oh, really? I'm just going to do it. So it's kind of an important thing? Yeah. I used to think that a tattoo machine came to a single needle point and an injected ink under the skin. It's actually multiple needles and they're grouped together for lining. However, for shading, it's more like a paintbrush. Ink is held in between those multiple needle points using capillary action, and when it punctures the skin, it drags the ink down into the dermis. Ta da! Gotcha. So you've got, now you have a needle in a tube attached to a machine mm -hmm. and you're ready to make that machine work. Yep. So what do you do? Power I'm guessing? Power. Rotary machines are pretty easy to understand. Here this motor has rotational motion and it's translated to linear motion here at the needle bar. That's pretty simple, right? Coil machines, however, are a bit more complicated. When Leah steps on this foot pedal, that direct current is applied to the two coils. This turns those coils into an electromagnet and it pulls this armature bar down, moving the needle. When the armature bar moves down, it breaks the circuit away from the contact screw and that causes the electromagnetic field to collapse. The spring then returns the armature and it re-energizes the circuit. This just happens over and over again and that's it. That's how a coil machine works. One word of caution though, just because you understand how a coil machine works doesn't mean you know how to use it. Did you really tattoo yourself? Yeah, I'm wasted. You did it? Yeah, Let me it's, see. It's ridiculous. Oh, that's... What happens. That's what happens. <laughs> so it's a bad idea? It's a very bad idea. And what's no, your name? Sean. <laughs> Sean says do not tattoo yourself. Go to a professional like Leah, right? Please go to yes. your local professional. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now that we know how the machines work, it's time to investigate what the needles are doing to the skin. I brought special lights and a special macro lens so we can record it at first 1500 frames per second and then ramp it up to 3200 frames per second. This is why tattoos hurt. Okay, I have decided that I want to feel what this needle feels like because it's actually going in the skin and pulling it up and you said you can do this without actually tattooing me. Yeah, I'm not going to use it. I'm just going to use a needle. I'm a little nervous. I want to know what it feels like, but I don't want to tattoo. This is the next best thing, right? Yeah, exactly. Okay, deep breath in. Deep breath in. Breathe it out slowly. <laughs> that wasn't bad. Okay. Okay, I can handle that. That was it. Okay, what did you do? See there? Oh, I can see why people get addicted to that because it's like a it's like fear. Yeah. So this was the lining needle and this yeah. was the shading needle. Correct. And how many needles were on the lining needle? Five. And how many were on the shading needle? Seven. There you go. 
smarter every day. On the front of your forearm, I think it hurts more than the back. You think I could take it? Of course you could. <laughs> All right, so I hope you enjoyed this episode of Smarter Every Day. If you want to continue getting smarter by letting me do crazy stuff, please support Smarter Every Day on audible.com. So go to audible.com slash smarter. You can download any audiobook you want for free. I have uh, I have learned that Leah actually reads a lot. Do you have a book that you would recommend? Yes, I'd recommend Native Son by Richard Wright. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Okay, just... Just continue. Okay. Anyway, so uh, anyway, audible.com slash smarter. That helps smarter every day and is probably going to pay for Leah's work here. So uh, also follow Leah and CJ. I'll leave links in the video description. She's a really cool Instagram account. You see what I mean about the frosting, right? I do. How it elevates the top layer of skin there. I do. Okay, so when you. Are we getting smarter every day? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you actually know about smarter every day? Yeah. I'm subscribed to it. Oh, fantastic. Was this done here? It was. Leah did it. Awesome. Crazy. Did I just get cred because that guy knew who I was? Yes. Okay, yes. excellent. <laughs> awesome. You're not just some weirdo coming to my show. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so this is your famous tattoo? I posted on Reddit and got a few hits. <laughs> That's awesome. Do you like macaroni and cheese? Yes. Anyway, I'm Destin. You're getting smarter every day. Have a good one. This is fake, by the way. We're not actually tattooing me. <laughs> it was a good fake, though. Yeah.